So in the fundamentals of Tai Chi course that I'm teaching, there's really key elements to do with Qigong and, uh, and general Tai Chi practice within the short form that I'm teaching. And it's a short form that once learned, teach really important fundamental skill sets of Tai Chi. It teaches the A, the B, the C, the D, how to put them together as well, teaches that kind of thing. And the first movement is this, so the feet stand together, the arms open. So opening the torus field up, drawing the energy back down into Dantian, pulling the energy up the central channel down it's that particular one motion when you have a certain qigong level developed you can just open with that so you start your whole qigong session with just opening with that motion and you're just standing there relax tongue on the roof of the mouth letting the body naturally breathe and you'll feel the energy balance it'll circulate it'll balance through the body when you don't have a qigong level people will do that they'll feel nothing for one and the second part when they're standing here, they're either really, really unbalanced, there's no sense of stability at all, no roots formed, or they just go, this is so boring, because there's nothing happening, there's no chi level. So the first move in the Tai Chi Fundamentals form, it's for advanced level training as well. But one of the ideas when you first start is just letting the energy field rearrange to form a good torus that opens upwards and downwards. The torus field is how we connect our energy field is based of torus field. Running the Du channel, the Ren channel, central channel, and letting the energy do what it needs to do afterwards. In the form, it continues on to other things. So even just beginning with this um, posture, this is uh, quite an advanced form of Qigong, just standing here. So why, one reason why it's advanced, if you don't have any Qi skills or Qi built, it just feels like nothing, nothing will happen. Nothing happens, people get really irritated too. So that's part of the mental afflictions showing up. People get really irritated, they get really bored. What is this, don't understand. And of course they won't practice it, it's too advanced. So even just getting into the position to start with, a lot of people have their body weight by center of mass forward. And the, they look like this. So the back sitting back, center of mass forward, the head goes forward. This is a very common position. It's part of what's called a PEC pattern in, in postural restoration. Or when they stand here, they have this massive duck bum. So the pelvis is out like this. Then ideally if the spine was straight, they'd be bent like this, but of course not gonna live like that. So the body does this. Some people can't even stand in this straight position because the body's so unnatural. That's what we call it unnatural. Whereas if you get a child to stand here, they, they feel fine because they haven't got all the residual tension. They've built, uh, built up tensionings and um, imbalances in the body and the muscular system. So the first part is, can you let the pelvis go? Can the pelvis tuck under a little bit so the tailbone points to the ground? Gentle elongation through the neck and the head. Just that, when there's a Qigong level, you already start to feel there's a separation of energy things want to rebalance. That's just the first layer, the first move in the fundamentals form. 